And I can't wait till we can break apart To hit me if I seem a little unimpressed with this An antisocial pessimist Hello everyone, welcome to this new Mobile Legends video and yeah, so today we are finally back with the top 5 best heroes countdown for February and yeah, this series is all about one episode each month where I'm counting down the most of the power tiers for the month after all the patches has been done and you will see most of the champions I had in January are not in the countdown of this month and this is going to be really interesting at the background we will have some very nice true gameplay I'm playing it live by the way so that's going to be interesting trying to commentate and talk about the changes and everything and then at the same time play some Mobile Legends um, anyway but before we can start this video I would like to announce uh, my first League of Legends video that I've uploaded yesterday I am playing a really overpowered misfortune gameplay and yeah if you guys are interested into League of Legends if you would like to support my League of Legends content I would really really appreciate if you guys would check out that video and yeah I'm going to be uploading two League videos per week from now okay this guy is crazy man why would you even try to oh Jesus all right um Anyway, yeah, if you would like to check out some league content, make sure to check out that video. I think you will really enjoy it because I'm a really high elo player in League of Legends. And yeah, two League of Legends videos, three to four Mobile Legends and one RSPS. That's a plan for now. Um, anyway, time to start with the countdown. So, to give you some head ups up, the first time in history of my countdowns, Fanny is not in the top five. I'm really sorry, but Fanny does not deserve to be in the top five anymore especially in the competitive gaming she she's just not fitting to my top five anymore so yeah that's just some head ups but we have some crazy news here i think a lot of people will support this and um, my top five rank is going to gourd so gourd had a really weak release to be fair not sure if you guys have seen gameplays of me playing gourd whenever he got released um but yeah he was really weak but over the last five six patches he got permanently buffed and by now he is a freaking beast i i love playing him i'm playing him so much so oh, freaking i'll kill him yeah what, what i'm trying to say is that freaking gourd is really overpowered and yeah that's why he deserves my top five spot and if he if they keep um buffing him each patch i will definitely go and put him on a top three spot even because seriously if a hero is getting buffed all the time sorry for this small leg here i just had to survive um yeah then he definitely deserves to get up even though a lot of people maybe don't play him but i, I freaking love him and he's freaking overpowered by now and yeah that's why he gets top five um spot number four spot is going to kagura so kagura used to be when she got released she was on top two i believe in my last in January, she was on top three together with uh, with um, Natalia. Natalia is, by the way, out of the top five too. She's just too weak right now, um, especially with the invisibility. But I don't sure if it's a bug or it's just a hard patch on her. Um, yeah, but anyway, Natalia is not in the top five either. But yeah, top four goes to Kagura. Kagura, um, really strong major still, dealing a lot of damage if you know how to play her. She got nerfed slightly, so that's the reason why she's not in the top three anymore. But still, really good hero, so that's why she definitely deserves the top four spot. Alright, number three spot is going to um, Freya. Freya, um, you might be Freya, she's a really old hero. Not really worth putting her in top 3 and everything. Guys, if you look at a good Freya, Freya is broken. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even kidding. She, she's a broken hero. Like, the, the way she's, she has that gap closer, she has the attack speed with the stun, and the ultimate with the extra damage. That, that is pretty much crazy. Um, she was my top 1 spot when she got released. After that, she was all, all, always on top 5, top 4, whatever. But right now, if you check out the, your rank games, especially if you're playing higher rank, you will see a lot of good Freya players. And Freya has a big impact. She is a really strong... Um, she can move quite a lot fast. She's a good roamer. She can gank really good. She can jungle. And yeah, she's pretty much a really, really strong hero, to be fair. If you build her off tank, what I prefer, like building her damage with some tankiness, then it's even, it's even better, to be fair. Um, but yeah, anyway, what, um, top three sport definitely deserved. Um, 
yeah i'm trying to kill this freaking beast okay i died anyway so yeah top three is going to freya let me know guys what you guys think about this top three freya but i think it's definitely worth for her because she's a really strong hero to be fair and it's time for the top two top two is going to alpha alpha got slightly nerfed after he got released he was my top one hero for january when he was released um yeah as you notice all the heroes got released they are always my top top tiers but to be fair new heroes are always quite strong but yeah he got slightly nerfed but still really strong he can definitely one one everyone with his ultimate the stun is still really really strong and everything so definitely deserves my number two spot especially with the freaking cc the ultimate is freaking overpowered and if, if he managed to get like at least two or three people with his ultimate then it's already over because people can follow up and he's doing a lot of damage early game he's really strong 1v1 mid lane whatever you play him he's a very good opponent and you cannot beat him too easily his weak point is if he engages he misses your ultimate and he managed to um if you manage to i don't know if you see him you get damage on him then he's not really good in escaping instead at least he doesn't have his ultimate obviously otherwise he can just jump away um but yeah, anyway, I really think he's really strong still, and that's why he deserves my number two spot. Alright, number one spot for this month, guys, and yeah, you I'm not sure if you few of you will be surprised if you want, but um yeah, number one spot goes to Chu. Yeah, I'm playing him right now. Not sure if you can see that he's deserving number one spot, but let's start with Chu. Chu is probably one of the most mobile champions in the game. His CC, his crowd control is crazy. Like Look at this play, I'm going to just demonstrate it. Let's see, here's the AD carry. Basic attack, stunt. Okay, I missed my knockup, I'm retarded, I'm sorry. Another stun, I got the kick, and he's dead. I did not do anything, I'm not uh, I'm not skilled or anything, I'm just, just pressing two buttons. I'm going in stunning him. I even missed my Q, which is another knockup plus stun. Then I'm ulted, which is another CC, and he's dead. Um, one v one wise, it's really hard to kill a son. He can make really big differences. He's really mobile. I, I would say he has one of the biggest win rates right now in the game. Um, and yeah, definitely deserves my number one spot. Um, yeah, guys, I'm going to make. Yeah, I'm getting wrecked by the other two now. <laughs> Obviously, he's going to make some. Okay, let's see if I can kill him. Let's go to some Qs. He stunned me. I stunned. Oh no, bro. Let's try to survive. Let's kick him. And okay, good. Yeah, that's another point. He can survive really good with his kick and his... No! Bitch. Okay, whatever. So yeah, my number one spot goes to Chu. Um, and I would like you guys to tell me, as usual, your top 5 fears for this month in the comment section. Let me know. What do you think? Number 5, Gord. Number 4, Kagura. Number 3, Freya. Number 2, Alpha. Number 1, Chu. Um, yeah, don't look at your favorite heroes, which one you prefer to play. Look at the just the stats. Look at the other people who play those champions and how they develop in the game and then make sure to let your um, answer in the comment section not just of the popularity of the champion whatever just the facts how strong someone is the win rates and everything and then let me know thanks for watching everyone that's it for this video make sure to leave a like subscribe my channel for more mobile legends videos and yeah definitely make sure to check out my league video too if you are into league of legends and that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, everyone, and peace, Serino.